Welcome to part 8 in our series covering the urban soil health evaluation. In this video we will discuss how to assess surface cover and erosion at our site which is found on part A of the urban soil health evaluation sheet. Contact us at the email shown to obtain the evaluation sheet. Okay, now we want to assess our site for surface cover and erosion. We're going to group these two together because they kind of go hand in hand. So if you look at this site here, our proposed site, um, you've got a mixed bag in terms of surface cover. So you've got areas like this where you've got grasses that are growing really well. Um, vegetation is, is pretty thick in some areas. But then you've got these areas like this right next to it where it's bare. And, you know, for mid-May, we should, we should see vegetation growing there at this time of year. That's one thing to take into consideration when you're assessing surface cover. But ideally, you want some kind of surface cover year-round, whether it's um, an actively growing plant or not. That cover is protecting your soil and improving your soil health. So this particular site, if we're assessing for surface cover, would be um, a little challenging because it's a little bit of both. So... And then if you come over here, if you come over here, you see very nice cover. And this is only five feet away from where we were at before. Okay, so um, this one I would probably put kind of in the mid tolerable category, maybe, maybe low end of tolerable, just because you do have these areas where there's little or no surface cover. The reason you want surface cover is it protects your soil from water, essentially. Raindrops that impact the soil can do a lot of damage if it's impacting bare soil. If there's vegetation there to protect that soil, it really helps improve your soil health. So if you're assessing a site for erosion potential, you're looking for these bare spots, but you're looking at what's happening to the soil in those bare spots especially. So in this example that we showed over here, there's a bare spot here, but we're not seeing a lot of erosion. We're not seeing indication that that moving water is moving that soil away from the site or moving it downstream, downhill, okay? They're not seeing channels forming, uh, gullies or anything like that. Now, at this same site, again, just right over here, you do see a little bit of a channel that started to flow right here. So it dips down just a little bit right here, and the soil cover is not great right here. So this site, in this particular location does have fair potential for erosion. Now, if you look over here where soil cover is really good, there's no erosion happening here, or very, very little erosion. So again, if we're assessing this site for erosion potential, it's a mixed bag. So I'd probably put it somewhere in that tolerable category just because it does show some erosion some areas that have poor surface cover, but it also shows some areas that are doing great in terms of erosion and surface cover. Again, our site is a mixed bag when it comes to surface cover and erosion. Because of that, we'll give it a score of 6 for both categories, knowing that both could be improved. In the next video, part 9, we'll discuss how to assess debris and soil at our site.